Welcome back to the Friendica tutorial where I will show you how you can do everything on Friendica that you can on Facebook, but be even more connected with social media. Friendica is a part of the Fediverse, and a decentralized social media platform where your data is never sold or used without your express permission, and no central server owns your data. The network is made up of volunteers who run instances or nodes, and your encrypted data there can only be accessed by you. Today we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison with Facebook, comparing all the features between the two, and how much they're alike, and how you can make it your central social media site, linking it to Blue Sky and WordPress, turning Instagram or Twitter posts into RSS feeds, as well as Threads and Tumblr when they get their software working in the future. Mastodon is the best known, but hardly the best platform in the interconnected Fediverse. There are many advantages to using Friendica. One is that you can do really long posts, which makes it much more like Facebook than most other platforms without modification. Another is that it has ways to connect to nearly every other platform except Facebook. Unlike other Fediverse sites, its entire purpose is made to connect it to as many social media sites as is allowed. Prior to Musk taking over, you could run your Twitter feed through Frendica and even respond with it with some limitations. There is now a blue sky mirror that can do the same thing. It's also connected to the social media platform Diaspora, which is a favorite of people who enjoyed Google Plus back in the day. It's one of the few decentralized social media platforms, not connected activity pub, of which Mastodon and PixelFed run off of. Now only Facebook and more niche sites like MeWe are unable to at least get an RSS feed connection from them. This is my friends' conversations. This is my home, my posts and conversations. This right here is conversations on this and other servers. So you can go to local or global community, just like you could on the other one. And as you can see, everything's gone to hell in a handbasket because this was around the protest time. There's email, messages. You can set up events on a calendar, your birthday or something like that, and it will show up. So you can use videos, photos, upload status, Upload profile, personal notes, contacts. Next is contacts, where you can organize your contacts or put them into different circles like you could on G+. Lastly is notifications, no different from Facebook. These sidebars are full of widgets as well that we will discuss in the next video. Here's your notifications here, mark as seen. So yeah, it's pretty similar. My home, You'll see here in the side my pictures, my contacts, and these are the categories that I will categorize some of these things from. Take for example, I want to post something. I go over here, post something, I can set the title, I can set the category, and then later on if I want to I can go back and check these categories so it's you're essentially putting in a list when you're posting it. So let's go over to Facebook here. So right now you've got your news feed. This is the Friendica version of your news feed, obviously. You've got multiple news feeds unlike with Facebook. You've got Messenger. There isn't a version of this on Friendica, aside from the private Messenger option. Some in the development groups have lamented that they never put in an internal Messenger in the platform. However, you don't really need one. You can use all sorts of encrypted Messenger apps such as Matrix, which is a decentralized platform, or even Signal, which is a centralized platform. Unlike on Mastodon and ActivityPub, if you send a message to someone on Friendica, it is actually private, which is not the case on most ActivityPub platforms, though it is only true with someone else on Facebook. So let's go down here, you've got your saved, you can do the exact same thing on Friendica, and it's here on the side panel of the categories of things you saved, as I showed you in the last video of how to save a post. Here you have pages, which I will show you how to make in a later video. The fundraisers aren't on Friendica, but believe me, you will see a lot of mutual aid requests and places to donate to in your feed if you follow enough people. Events. On Friendica, we have calendars, and you can create events that other people will see in their feed. They will also notify you of things like birthdays. We got friends lists, which you can see through your profile on Friendica, and the rest of these are essentially just add-ons as a way to make Facebook more money. But since there's no money being exchanged, there's no need for them. Your admin may have other add-ons such as a weather app, but that is up to the instance provider and often what kind of processing power they have to share. And then you go to your profile, you can go to your home, which is this. You can edit your profile activity log. You got your old photos, you got your friends, just like you do in Friendica. But yeah, you've got your timeline. Literally, there's nothing that you can't do here except every third post won't be for an ad and every other third post won't be for a group you have no interest in joining. 
Okay, so here's something different you can do for your profile to change some of your settings. So you can go to your settings, hit account, now hit profile. You can create custom profile fields. So in this case, I put in my political views. Let's put down favorite bands. It's been forever since I've actually thought about what my favorite bands are because there's so many good stuff out there, but I'll put them down. All right, now submit. And when someone looks at my personal profile, they can see all of this information. So I've shown you profile. I've shown you additional features. Let's go back to settings. So I've shown you profile. Let's look at the additional features. Here you can have it automatically geotag any photo you upload. And you can have a trending tag widget on your profile, which has the most popular hashtags on the Fediverse currently here in the sidebar. Post composition has basic rules of how people are mentioned. And if you get automatic abstracts in response to an activity pub post, the most popular being Macedon, post categories, you can add a category to a post. And then on your profile sidebar, you can see all the posts you made with that category. Advanced profiles, you can see list groups, tag cloud, and display when you're first joined on your profile. This will allow people looking at your profile here to see the groups you follow and a tag cloud widget that has your most used tags, though they appear to take forever to update as I have tags from two years ago. You can also allow other people to look at your calendar when they are looking at your profile. This would be useful for a group so that people outside the group can look at your events. We looked at display last time. We will talk about channels next time. Social networks. These are lists of rules to control your interactions with people from other platforms. There's an option for direct email if the instance provider wants it. And you can now mirror with your Blue Sky account if you want one. There are a lot of add-ons an instance provider can include. My provider has only really included three. Language filter isn't very good. Sadly, it will assign even blank posts to language sometimes, and you'll end up with a lot of posts getting blocked or collapsed. Use 70% certainty if you do want to use it, and make sure it has a certain number of words in it so it can effectively detect something not in English. Mind you, last time I did this was a year or two ago, so they may have improved it since then. Content filter. You can enable content filter. It will blur things out, so if you're scrolling at work, and somebody posts a naked person on there, that, and they've tagged it as not safe for work, it won't show up on your computer. I had that problem before at one point where things were just popping up. So I had to stop using it for a while. We've got show more, which will allow you to see the whole post instead of it naturally being collapsed with just a preview if it's too long. 1000 to 1100 are good settings. There's others you can ask to be included by your provider, uh, but look them up on the link I have below. Manage accounts allows you to delegate other people access to your account, which is useful. You can also register as many additional accounts linked to your profile. This part right here, you can't even tell is something to click. It used to be the only way to create a new account or group, but since all groups are also new accounts of their own, it was really hard for a noob to create a new group. So I'm proud to say I created a button right here on the groups bar that makes it so much easier to create a group. But you can also create another account through it. I'll show you how to create groups in the future. Connected apps gives permission to phone apps you might use such as Tusky or the now defunct Twitter bridge MOA. Remote servers is where you can see any instance you have blocked if your provider hasn't already or won't. Export account is where you can download all your data except your photos as you will have to do that manually. Export all exports every single post you've made in an Excel document plus an Excel document of all your contacts as you see here in the bottom as well as your special key you can use in the export account feature that you see in this option at the top. If you were to go to a new instance and hit sign up now, you could put your key in and it would put in the majority of the data. However, at the moment, there's no way to upload your old posts. The only platforms that can do something like that are MissKey or one of its many other forks like Firefish. That's the end of the video for today. Next time, I'm going to be discussing what just came out this December, and that is channels which can have the effect of turning Friendica into both a TikTok or an Instagram replacement. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope this was useful.